So there's a lot at stake in how we encourage Israel to respond to the horrifying Hamas attacks. Wisdom and long-term thinking are essential, but you will not be surprised to learn that is not what we are getting. Watch this person, for example, who happens to be the media's pick for president of the United States. This is not just an attack on Israel. This is an attack on America because they hate us just as much. And what we have to understand is this is the reason that we have to unite around making sure our enemies do not hurt our friends. America can never be so arrogant to think we don't need friends, just like we needed them on 9-11. That's why Ukraine needs us when Russia's doing this. That's why Israel needs us when Hamas and Iran are doing this. And I'll say this to, to Prime Minister Netanyahu, finish them. Finish them. Hamas did this. You know Iran's behind it. Finish them. They should have hell to pay for what they've just done. This was an attack on America, she says, when in fact it was not. And for that reason, we must, quote, finish Iran, a nation of nearly 90 million people. What are we watching here? This is not sober leadership. She's a child, and this is the tantrum of a child. Ignorant, cocksure, bloodthirsty. Yet no one in Washington scolded her for it. In fact, they aped her hysteria. Here's fellow neocon Lindsey Graham just spelling it out and calling for the bombing of Iran. So I've been on the phone all day to the Mideast and I've told our allies and people with connections to Iran, what I would do, I would tell Iran that if Hezbollah attacks Israel, we're gonna come after you, the Iranians, and have a coordinated effort between the United States and Israel to put Iran out of the oil business by destroying their refineries. There are four major refineries in Iran. They're fixed targets. Uh, if Hezbollah attacks Israel, I would make Iran pay a heavy price. What exactly would happen to the United States if we declared war on Iran and started blowing up their infrastructure? Lindsey Graham has no clue what would happen. He hasn't thought it through. He's almost 70 years old and he has no children. He doesn't care. But neither amazingly do most of his colleagues in Washington. They're as reckless as he is. Texas Congressman Dan Crenshaw took to social media to call for what he described as a war to end all wars, as if there is such a thing. But of course, there isn't such a thing. Wars beget more war. The bigger the conflict, the uglier and longer lasting the consequences. See World War I for details.